And let's see. Right there. <laughs> hey, look. So I don't remember if any other boss in this game has such an impressive introduction as this one. Is that like a house? I don't know why they made this. <laughs> that, that's like really out of place for the rest of everything. Yeah. But it's super menacing, which is what you want from the first boss of the game. Yeah. I mean, it's better than like fucking the spider living in a bacon tree. Yeah. Which, by the way, why is it always spiders? Just for you. Just for I, you. I get. I mean, I, I I understand that spiders. Hey, you got all the money. Yeah. Argus. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind you. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. Are you ready? Uh. Look at that badass intro. That's an intro. Toasty. I have to fight the little cutout guy from the Mortal Kombat games? Yep. Nice. Confronting Toasty. Now, I think the enemies in this level are more deadly than the boss itself. So just... This might take a couple tries. I'm at 598 gems. Yep. And there you go. 600. Okay, that's better. Hey, asshole. Watch out for the dogs. Oh, God. <laughs> what? What? You have to charge him. Oh no, hit him twice. Yeah, hit him twice. I don't... That's so... Yeah, the dogs are deadly. Yeah, evidently. And they will charge you from far away. Smashing circle. Ow! Oh. Better find some sheep. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's gone, isn't he? He is gone. Now you have to manually pick oh, up your own dogs. And it's so close to the edge. <laughs> okay. I like that skybox. Um, it's a good, good orange. Yeah. Uh, let's. See. Are there any sheep? Did Not I in this any? opening area. Fuck. Yeah. Me. I told you the enemies are rough in this zone. You dodged each other. That was close. No, no, I hit him the first time. Did you? I think yeah. he jumped over you. I'm pretty sure I hit him. What's up? Nope. <laughs> Nailed it. And I died. Nailed it. Oh, you're asking if you could die. There's your death. Yeah, evidently. Um, how am I supposed to... Like that. You can also um, use your roll. Oh, right, I can roll, can't yeah. I? Or you can just, when they jump, charge under them. Yeah, but like, oh, right, triangle. Okay, let's do this. Fuck you. Ow. I love him just standing there posing menacingly. I think he's like telling them to go after me and they just don't care. Ha! Ah, damn it! Oh. Well, you're over halfway to another life. So there's that at least. Hooray. I don't actually know the game over mechanic in this game. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Talk about your humble brag. No, God. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so I think you should flame, then run away, then flame. Yeah. Aha! I heard someone die, maybe. Uh, Shepard, probably. Nope. He must have just hit in the ground. Nice. Ah! Next level strats. Next level Spyro 1 strats. Next level Spyro 1 strats. This music's kind of nice. Oh, fuck Yeah, me. like I said. Okay, so this is a stupid jumping difficulty. Ooh. You. <laughs> well, like, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? You can charge under them. Also, do they auto-attack, or do they only really come after me after I... I think they, uh, they only go after you after you get close enough. Because they're sleeping. Right. So I'm like, I'm wondering if I can just, like, charge past them and get to that dragon. The, the guy might take you out. The shepherd? They got a pretty fast attack animation. True. Oh. God. Okay. 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 Well, you don't have to fight any of these guys anymore. Unless you want the light. Oh. True. So yeah, you can just run through all these guys. 
Yeah, they work. Yeah. You I really don't those. care about the gems anymore. There we go. There we go. Ha! Booyah! Hi, Nevin. Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. What? Why would you? This boss has I many mean, there's tricks lava everywhere, I guess. Many tricks up his sleeve. I think that was actually the perfect voice for someone named Nevin. Like he, I don't, I disagree. Really? I, he did not sound nerdy enough for. Oh God, is that Welcome him? Welcome to Toasty. Is that Toasty? That's Toasty. Toasty is a scarecrow with a scythe. Yes. I expected something more fire, fire themed. Based. Yeah. I think his name is Toasty because they know you're gonna kill him. Maybe. Oh. What? He's not actually a scarecrow. So, like I said, the enemies are much more threatening than the boss. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Hello. I do call minor bullshit on... Yeah, I don't what think you, the can, hell? you can't hurt the dogs with the charge. I actually hit it, too. It bounced off. Okay, fine. If you require me to do this, then... Nice. Nice. And you. I love this boss. Yeah? It's uh, pretty great. Ah! And you. Ow! <laughs> you have an attack animation? <laughs> Why do you have an attack animation? Oh, I love it. Okay, I no longer care about getting all the jokes. Alright, I'll go back there and get later. <laughs> That level has a very long, windy edge cliff that you have to get the rest of the gems on. It's sure, sure, yeah. makes sense, makes yeah. sense. And that was Toasty. Toasty. First boss of Spyro. All right. Cool. So you've now completed World One. Well, I mean, cool. completed World One. Okay. Yeah, didn't hundred percent. Didn't hundred percent it. I think you got all the dragons though, which is what really matters. Sparks is gonna feed your dragonfly. Come on. There you don't go. actually have to stay there. He'll he'll eat them with you. Uh, will he still pick up gems near me? Yes. When he he'll like rubber band to you. Okay. Yeah. But like any gems that I've passed in the meantime. Oh no, he won't pick them. Sorry. Okay. Ow. Nailed it. Hello, Marco. Like the one thing without like actual spoken yep. dialogue. Okay. Yep. Well, he's he's wearing a muffler. He can't speak. He doesn't have uh. a mouth. I see you have been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to keep the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Do you think the Peacekeeper's world is going to be peaceful? Probably not. Go to Peacekeeper's. Did I jump You on jumped him? on his head. And he's not in the balloon. Nope. I'm not sure who's flying this thing. I don't think the dragon without thumbs can do anything about it. Maybe. Hey, man. Maybe it wasn't designed by people with thumbs. That's true. I didn't see any thumbs on that guy either. And, okay, good. I was going to be really pissed off if he was just here waiting for me. Dragon. First dragon of the Peacekeeper's world. That was quick. Titan. Titan. Hello! Welcome to Peacekeeper's I'm okay with that voice. Yeah. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We cover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Mmm. Collect treasure. So this is a great example of enemies fighting one another. I can tell. Look at that death animation, it's great. Yep, that it's great. I almost felt bad. <laughs> tell my wife I loved her. This is also a phenomenal overworld for those um, cannons. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like a huge... He's behind the cannon. Yes, I know he's behind the cannon. Ah. It's like circle strafing. Yeah, you got it, you got it. 1990 circle strafing. God damn it. On the PlayStation 1. Can now, use the cannon? you can indeed use the cannon. Do, 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 is that, do, use the cannon? Can I turn the cannon? Yes, you can. You can also kill enemies with the cannon. And it does have some auto aim. And... 
Boom! Nailed it. And now that guy will turn his cannon towards you. If you get close enough. Yeah, because they're fighting amongst each other. But, rather than getting close, I'm going to... Ha-ha! Yay! <laughs> I'm the best! This overworld is awesome. I love this overworld. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm a little interested to uh, keep checking this place out. More cannons. More Next cannons. Time. Yes. Yeah.